Detron did this. I like that one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back, guys, to another episode of Detron Does It. Of course, I am Detron, and I does stuff. And this week, we are replacing the motor on this air conditioning unit. Now, I have a 2009 Ford E450. It is a 14-passenger shuttle bus. Is it a 450 or 350? It's one of those, but they're gonna have the same unit. It was a 14 passenger shuttle. Uh, I gutted it and I am turning it into something else. But in the process, I realized that this air conditioning unit is really loud. I wanted to replace it with a mini split, but it's a lot of work to remove all of this and then install a mini split. And so I'm hoping that I can replace the motor and fix the audio problem that we're getting with the really loud noise coming from the AC unit. I believe it's bad bearings in the motor. I had a friend come over and check it out. He is a master technician. And so we're shooting for that being the solution. As a matter of fact, let me show you guys what it sounds like when you turn it on. See what I mean? That thing is really loud when it comes on. So hopefully taking that motor out, replacing it with this one will fix the problem. Now this thing looks fairly simple to install, but the first thing that we wanna do is go and disconnect the power. That way we don't electrocute ourselves because, well, that would just suck. these four nuts. There's these two here, and then you need to take off those two, and that'll remove this cover. this cover is off, you can remove the two wires that are connected to the motor, one black wire, one ground, and one live wire, one red. And so those are gonna be connected here. For me, I had my red wire here and then my black wire is up top here. Uh, you can just follow the wires right from the motor to disconnect those and make sure you disconnect the battery first. You don't wanna be working on this while you got power going to the motor just in case something happens, you don't wanna get electrocuted. Once you've disconnected this and you've taken off these nuts, then you're gonna go underneath. You're gonna find this opening here and inside of that opening is a hex bolt. Once you undo the hex bolt, you'll be able to slide this motor right out. Keep in mind that after you slide the motor out, there's nothing holding your fan blade. So you either wanna prop it up or take it out momentarily until you can get your new motor ready. slide the motor back into your fan blade. You'll retighten the hex bolt that's there. You'll reconnect your wires here. You'll put your brace back up on the motor and uh, you should be good to go. All right, so what I don't know is if the motor was my actual problem, the thing that was making the air conditioning unit loud. And so I'm gonna go reconnect the battery for the bus and then crank it up and hopefully it's quieter, but I guess we'll see. All right, here we go. I'm about to start this thing up and see what the uh, audio sounds like from the air conditioner. All right, this is the air on low. That's quiet. 
and it's still blowing cool. We need to get this thing recharged, but on low, that feels good. Hey. I've been in the bus. I've been doing stuff. I got footage. So you guys are getting an update. So in the last video, I think I was still wrapping up the flooring after I had done the air conditioner and sealed the roof. So what we got here is now the top floor is down and that is all affixed to the floor with screws. Um, so that is good for us to put our top floor on, on most of the floor. Now I do have a little section here behind the driver's seat, have not finished yet. Uh, and then right back there in that corner, I still need to fix that back portion. So we're gonna put a completely different board back there. I just got some sitting back there filling in for right now. We've got our insulation here, which are covering up our windows and down at the bottom as well. We are, have it all insulated. I put in some support pillars, got two there, uh, and then another two and a third here as well. My roof was sagging from there being some water intrusion before I bought the bus. And so I wanted to be able to provide some additional support to the roof using these pillars. So they can double as uh, places for us to install fixtures once we began designing the inside of the bus. I also created a support brace to go along the front of the roof, really trying to support the roof line on this thing. I don't want to put in all of this work and get all of this stuff installed. And then we develop some structural issues from the roof and have to undo the stuff that I've already done. Uh, we still need to work on the back half of the, the roof as far as the uh, insulation and support beams go. And we're just gonna add um, two additional ones here in front of the AC unit. And then we're gonna add one off to the right-hand side. And then we'll use those as our supports for the rear of the shuttle. So next up, we need to put some board across um, these to cover up our support. And uh, then we'll need to install some lights, which we already have power supply for the lights. I just need to figure out how I go about disconnecting the power for the lights from the operation of our front doors. Because right now, the only way that these lights turn on is if uh, you open up the door. So I want to be able to turn the lights on independently. So I'm probably gonna have to partner with someone to help me out just so I don't slice or splice a wire that I'm not supposed to and find myself in a much worse situation. As always, please like, share, subscribe, hit that notifications button, get some alerts, find out when we're dropping new videos. And if you decide not to like, share, or subscribe, you know what? I won't even be mad at you. Till next time, guys. Peace.